Hey Tubes, um, starting to work on this Lomboy I got in as a trade-in. It already runs, I just power washed it. Um, uh, the wheel that's off of it seemed to be fused or I didn't want to turn. So upon inspection of the bolt, it's all rust, uh, rusted. So I'm going to take a wire wheel to it and see if that helps and then put some uh, silicone uh, lubricant. This wouldn't even move before. So it's good to do that. Check the other one. Yeah, yeah, it's good too. I was looking at this long boy. I just took the I you know oil dipstick out. Uh, see. It's uh right where it's supposed to be. If you can see that, don't know the color of it. I think it uh, looked terribly bad. It's not the only reason why it looks black is because the dipstick's black. It's actually kind of bad. You shouldn't do that. See. Uh, it looks uh, okay. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to even change it. May have to add. No, don't even need to add any. It's right at the full mark. Over to the this uh, carburetor side. Whoa! I'm on a um, three wheeled. Mechanic seat. <laughs> yeah, because one wheel's broken. I'm gonna need to get a new air filter cover. Air filter cover's about 10 bucks online. I have an air filter for it, but uh, well, any carburetor that's been run without uh, an air filter, you need to check out. So that's what's next. Okay, we to, cause this doesn't have a fuel cut off. We need to pinch off the fuel line. It's gonna the fuel line is still pliable, so I'm gonna take some vice grips and just do that. And it's tilted, so so I'm just gonna take off the air box and then I just uh, uh, inspect the bowl of the carb for just to see how deep I need to do it. Do it. Well, everything on here is 10 millimeter. This is this is a uh, Honda clone, essentially. You see. Take out that bolt, and then we got a couple of uh, nuts here. And then this whole, oh, okay. The thing that came was one of these, uh, came out. It's one of these things that goes back here somewhere. Actually, that's this. So, I don't, I don't know where this came from. Oh, I know where, where it came from. This is, this is the spacer for this bolt. It goes back behind this. Don't ever, don't lose that. <laughs> Be careful with it. So, as we see the carb there, it looks kind of dirty. So, I'm gonna just brush it off, hit it with, uh, you know, wipe it off, and I can just pull the, pull the bowl to uh, see what that looks like. And based off that, that, it will determine what I do. So, I'm just taking a brush. You can use a little toothbrush, whatever. I'm just gonna, for now, just kind of do this because I'm since I'm gonna open up the carburetor, I don't want any of the stuff to get in it. Make and make more. I like that. And make more work for me. So I'm 
So I got some rags there. This will leak gas when I uh, when I take this off. Let me see. Does it fit? No, I'm gonna have to use a wrench. So it's gonna be this way. So if this way will be tightened, it's that way to loosen, so. I don't normally do this when the carburetor is on the machine, but in this case, I'm going to. Okay, I got it bolt off. Here. Okay, and here's the inside. Ew, I'm surprised this ran. Got the gelled up uh, fuel in there in the bottom. Just gonna go clean this bowl out. And if you look down there, that's nastiness. So, gonna have to uh, kind of clean that too. Uh, see if that's all I need to do. Oh. Just gonna clean out the bowl. Here. So, just cleaning out the bowl. All that gelled stuff you saw in there was ethanol. And that stuff, if it were to dry, will um, end up as white and, and it will, it'll get clog up things. What I'm gonna do with uh, this part is just kind of try to clean it off with a wire brush and carb spray best I can because to avoid having to take this carburetor off since it seems to run okay well, I'm kind of cleaning this off here with just this wire brush There's a little hole here on the side of this uh, here that needs to be cleaned off. Uh, the little wire. So I've cleaned that off now. I'm gonna clean out these air bleeds. Here. And just kinda, this is not the best way to do this, but since it already ran, but I needed to inspect it. And to get to the main jet, the main jet on these is in here. So I'm going to take I'm gonna bend my carburetor cleaner hose here so I can uh, jettison some carb spray up the up there to you know you know it could be a little bit dirty in there and this at worst this will this can't hurt so normally you would 
you were the uh, I'm gonna have to clean this and then this this deck again with some more intensive stuff so now just gonna put everything back quick and dirty I think that's all that's needed and there also are some well, jets inside now I'm gonna Going to, sorry, I've been interrupted a, a lot in this. Um, so I've been having to cut in and out. So so this, uh, this nut gasket looks good. Let me uh, clean up the bolt a little bit. There. And let's just, uh, now we want to put this so this drain here is facing the, the front of the car towards the front of the mower. It doesn't matter which way on this uh, on this one. So we're just gonna put that like like that, and then uh, screw this jet in. I mean, screw the bolt in, and then uh, yeah, I got it threaded finally. I think maybe not. There we go. Now yeah, take my box wrench to tighten it up. Here we go. Tighten just tighten it up. The bull knot here. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, so, let's be good to go. Let's just put the air filter box up on and see uh, see if it runs. Should be ready to go. I mean, I just need to get the cover. Uh, but I needed to make sure that the carburetor was clean, or part bowl was clean. The moment of truth. Uh, this, should, this should be easier to start now. Um, so let's give it a, a yank and then I'll, I'll buy the, the uh, airbox cover or locate one. I did to uh, adjust this go the governor um, you, there's a way to adjust it from here but that's just need to fine-tune it this tab here uh, I bent it down it reduced this the tension on the spring that goes to the governor Briggs have something similar to comes has something similar there are some that have like a screw somewhere that you tighten or loosen to, on the carburetor that does the adjustment uh, every one's a little bit different but this was the easiest one for me to do so that's how you adjust the uh, governor slightly on a uh, on a Kohler engine. Uh, this is a six. This is a uh, XT 149cc uh, engine. So uh, this is the original. This is the one that has the vacuum activated choke. I don't like them, but I didn't have to get get into the carburetor that much. So I'll get a new air fil air filter box, and I have an air filter for it. Later. This thing was uh, run without the air filter on it. Uh, there's probably a lot of junk that may have gotten into the engine. Um, so I gotta go ahead and change the oil. Um, I know, it, I mean, it. I poured some out and it didn't look, look great. So I'm gonna just go ahead and change it. It's cheap enough. I, I use 10W30 on these coolers. Actually 10W30 conventional on pretty much everything because I have a hard time finting uh, 30 weight. 
or so I can't get it in bulk at least. So on these colors, what you do to, and Honda's the same way, you just tip it over. At least there's a, a, a dipstick holder on this one. Some of them don't have that. So just tip it over. I'll, I'll show you what the oil looks like here. Let me see. Uh, this is from the whatever I changed last. Uh, let me get a piece of cardboard. I miss it. So it works better if you run it for a little bit. Yeah, this is a good thing I changed in this. It's not bad, but it's still. down there you don't need to see it drain so. running I'm gonna pull out my new oil that I'm gonna put in and uh, measure it into a uh, this is a, just from the dollar store I think it's use it uses 500 milliliters or which is about a half of quart so and my oil of the day is this because it's the cheapest you can get and it comes in a six quart container so, I'm start out at six, at, uh, let me put a little more in. We're going to start out at 500 milliliters, which is a, about a half a quart right there, or just above, here above 16 ounces, and then top it off as needed. Okay, I'm going to check this. And it's right where it needs to be, it's right at the full line. So I think I put 18 ounces, uh, 500, a little over 500 milliliters in. So this is good to go with the oil change now. Over what I did to this one, did a quick and dirty clean on the carburetor, found it, it was gel, starting to gel up. Um, I uh, power washed it, I sharpened the blade, I didn't sh uh, show that, uh, and I changed the oil. Um, this should be good to go. I just need to get that air box cover. So that's another one. I wish I had a bag though. Later.